finally we're back into the 50s for overnight wow. lows, and that feels really nice. I think we'll be up to about 60 degrees at 8 o'clock this morning with patchy morning clouds around. Some of you may see them, especially out of the coast and north of Portland, and potentially even the metro area could get in on a little cloud action. But we'll get back to the sunshine before long. 72 degrees at noon, 78 at 3 o'clock, and then 81 this afternoon at 5 o'clock. So just perfect weather on the way. And what a beautiful sunrise over the south waterfront. You can see the Willamette River is nice and quiet, and so are the roads. Temperatures outside in the mid to upper 50s. It's 57 degrees at 546 this morning. 52 in Beaverton, 49. You've dropped down into the 40s, Tiger. 56 degrees in downtown, 54 in East Moreland. We're in the low 50s up toward Vancouver. And out along the coast, 50s and 40s with patchy morning clouds and uh, also a little bit of fog out at, toward the coast. It's 54 in Bend, 66 in the Dalles, the coolest start to the day in the Dalles in quite a while. Here's a live look at satellite and radar. Very quiet. You can't see it quite yet, but there's quite a bit of smoke, especially in eastern Washington today. And that will get even worse as the day wears on uh, because the winds are going to pick up and carry that smoke. So the gray up there, that's an air quality advisory for the Spokane area. But here in central Oregon and eastern Washington, we've got a red flag warning in effect through the day today because of the strong winds this afternoon. In fact, we're talking about gusts up to 35 miles per hour. This is this afternoon. Those bright colors mean strong winds through the gorge and also through pretty much all of eastern Oregon, especially the east slopes, with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. That's not good news for the firefighters on the front lines over there. Here's your rain cloud forecast. Five o'clock this morning, we've got areas of clouds around, but watch, lots of sunshine this afternoon. Here's five o'clock. How about tomorrow morning? I think more of us wake up with the morning clouds, especially to the north of Salem and out along the coast. But then it looks like we get some sunshine in the afternoon and potentially a shower late in the day. I think after nine o'clock, we could see a shower overnight into Sunday morning. Sunday morning, patchy morning drizzle for some of us, but then we get a lot of sunshine in the afternoon and showers develop east of the Cascades, especially in southern Oregon tomorrow or Sunday morning, rather. And then Monday, it looks like we'll go morning clouds and afternoon sun. Today, out along the coast, Morning clouds, patchy drizzle, and then some sun breaks in the afternoon. Temperatures in the 80s for the I 5 corridor with patchy morning clouds, otherwise warm and sunny weather ahead. East of the Cascades, breezy conditions with smoke and that red flag warning, but high temperatures cooler than they have been. So finally down in the 80s for Bend and the Dalles. Uh, Pendleton, you'll be cooler today too. Mostly sunny through the gorge. The Cascades, a nice day. Temperatures topping out in the low 70s and back around Portland. We'll top out right around 81 degrees with patchy morning clouds and sunny skies. Here's your seven day. Tomorrow, another pretty nice day. Partly sunny skies, slight chance of a shower late overnight into Sunday morning. Patchy morning drizzle on Sunday and then increasing sunshine. Morning clouds Monday and Tuesday, maybe a few showers on Wednesday. Okay, your pet walk forecast. It is 548. Time for that. This morning, perfect weather for your pooch. Temperatures in the 60s. Patchy morning clouds and then sunny strolling this evening with temperatures in the 80s. Meet Abe. Isn't he a stud muffin? Gosh. Oh, he looks and great. And he drinks out of the faucet there, or the drinking fountain at the park, apparently. Mm -hmm. RW sent this in. I just don't want to put my tongue close to the. <laughs> close no, to but that. you'll drink right. out of Mike's cup just fine. Well, I know. He, looks like like a, <laughs> he looks like a great Dane, right? Mike's no dog, though. Abe, that Abe is would, true. Abe um, wouldn't have to hop up to have a drink out of my cup. He's a uh, yeah, eye level right there. I know. No kidding. So, yeah, Carly, isn't he cute? He's really cute. I think he's a great Dane. So he's pretty tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job with your breeds, girl. Oh, thank you.